course of the day today, you're going to have to process the crime scene, collect evidence, examine evidence, and share your results with all of the other groups, okay? This is the uh, forensic science class at Staten Island Tech. They're working on their final exam, which is a practical assessment. Um, a crime scene has been set up for them, and what they have to do is process the crime scene, collect evidence, and compare evidence to uh, samples collected from suspects. The officers responded to the scene, searched the neighborhood, and found what is believed to be the victim's wallet on the street corner of 10th and Beach Street. No cash or credit cards were recovered. The first team to go in is the crime scene team and they're responsible for documenting and photographing and sketching um, everything at the scene. Once they've documented everything, um, the other teams are allowed to move in and begin the collection of evidence. So we have the crime scene set up in one area and then we have a, sort of a makeshift laboratory set up so they can actually complete the examination of the evidence that they've collected. I'm part of the trace evidence team and that basically involves taking off fibers, hairs, paint chips, glass fragments from uh, any evidence found at the crime scene. We examine it under the microscope and we note any distinguished characteristics that we found on the uh, pants so we can link the pants to the crime scene. Uh, we did find some, some grass and we did find some mud on the pants but nothing substantial enough to link the crime scene to the suspect. The students are broken into teams so that they can split up the work um, and then come together towards the end of the day and share all of their results with, with each other and draw conclusions.